Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff and in this video we will learn how we can integrate Google sign in in our Android apps. So I have two activities with me. Uh, first is the main activity. So it is always here and another I created that is profile activity. So let me show you the activity profile. So it's just uh, one image view and I have just created this Eclipse in Adobe XD. So we have two text views. So in here we will retrieve the name of the user and over here we will retrieve the email of the logged in user and we also have the sign out button. So if user clicks on this button he will be signed out and also we will send back him to the activity main. Here we have one sign in button. So first we will need to connect our app to Firebase. So click on tools and Firebase and then click on authentication email and password authentication. So as you can see my app is already connected to Firebase. So I will click on this add Firebase authentication. Click on accept changes. Okay so authentication using Google sign in documentation. Uh, here you can see we have to add a Google Play services auth also. So I will just copy this and I will paste it in our build.gradle app level. Just over here and then I will click on sync now. and in Google Chrome just open your project and click on authentication click on sign in method and enable the Google sign in just provide your mail so I have provided mine click on save so it has been enabled now so what we have to do now we have to add shock key to our Firebase project so just click on this gradle and click on your proof app new whatever it is and then task android and sign in reports and co copy your show key from here and click on this setting icon and project settings select your app so i have already selected my app here over here and click on add fingerprints just paste it over here so it will automatically detect that is show key so click on save now okay so that's it for firebase now we'll open our android studio and we'll start to write some code so over here private button oh, that is m sign in button Then you have to create one uh, constant so private static final int. Let's name it as rc sign in equals to I will provide two here. You can provide anything. And then you have to create one Google sign in client so private Google sign in client and let's name it as m Google sign in client. Okay, so now we'll find ID of our M sign in button. So M sign in button equals to find view by ID R dot ID dot sign in button. And then we can just add on click listener to our M sign in button. So dot set on click listener new on click listener. And over here we'll call one method that will be sign in. So we will implement this method later. So let me just create. Okay. So we'll implement this method a few minutes later. First of all, we need to create one method for sending the request. So private void create request. So in here we have to write Google sign in options. Let's name it as a GSO new google sign in options dot builder and here you have to pass google sign in options dot default sign in and then dot request id token and here we have to pass the web client id so for that we'll write get string and r dot string dot default web client id 
in case uh, if you can't see it uh, just make sure that you have added this dependency and again if you can't see it just uh, rebuild the project from here just click on build and click on rebuild the project okay so just after this we'll write request email and then last one that is dot build and then semicolon and we also need to initialize our m google sign in client so m google sign in client equals to google sign in dot get client and here we have to pass two parameters so first will be the context and then our gso google sign in options okay so now we'll call this method uh, just before this set on click listener so create request so now we have to implement this sign in method so over here we have to create one intent so intent let's name it as sign in intent equals to m google client dot get sign in intent and then semicolon now we have to start the activity for result so start activity for result and here we'll pass our sign in intent and that constant rc sign in okay now we have to override on activity result method so over here so just after this super statement we'll start to write some code here so if the request code is equals to rc sign in so then task google sign in account let me write it google sign in account so this one and let's name it as a task equals to google sign in dot get sign account from intent so this is one so this is the one that we want and we'll pass your data and then semicolon okay so now we can create one try catch block so try and let me write here catch and API exception let me make it e so we'll display toast if this fails so toast and e dot get message so in try block we have to write google sign in account uh, let's name it as account equals to task dot get results and here we have to pass the api exception dot class and then put the semicolon at the last we need to call another method that we'll be implementing in a minute so firebase auth with google let me name it as okay and here we have to pass this account dot get id token okay and then i will put semicolon over here so now we need to create this method so click on this red bulb and this will generate new method for us so in here we need to create auth credential so auth credential let me name it as credential equals to google auth provider google auth provider dot get credentials and here we have to pass this id token and another parameter will be null and then put a semicolon just after this so now we need a firebase auth variable so let me just create it over here so private firebase auth let me name it as m auth and over here m auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance and over here we'll write m auth dot sign in with credentials and here we'll pass our credentials and then we can add on complete listener to it so add on complete listener new on complete listener and i'll put semicolon here we'll check if the task is successful so task dot is successful we'll write some code here and else we can just display one toast so that will be task dot get exception dot get message so if the task is successful we'll send the user to the profile activity so start activity new intent so main activity dot this and profile profile activity dot class 
and I will just finish this over here. Okay, so that's it for the main activity. Again, what we can do, we'll just override on start method. And here we'll collect the current user, so Firebase user, let's name it as user. And then um, auth.get current user, we'll check if this user is not null. Then we'll send him to the new act, uh, the profile activity. Let me just copy this code from here and I will paste it over here. So that's it for the main activity. Now we'll just close this and I will click on activity profile and profile activity. So here we have two text views and one button. So we'll just collect that. So private text view. One is uh, display name. So display name and another is the let me name it as a display email and then we have one button so private button and um, sign out button and now we'll just find their ids and then we can just add on click listener to our m sign button sign out button so new on click listener and here and now we need to create one member variable of firebase auth so firebase auth let me name it as auth so auth equals to firebase auth dot get instance and over here we can write auth dot sign out and as soon as the user sign out we'll send him back to the main activity so start activity new intent profile activity dot this and main activity dot class and we'll write finish so user can't get back here okay so before that we need to set this name uh, and email so for that i need to create one create on google sign in account let me name it as account equals to google sign in dot get last sign in account and here we have to pass the context so this and then we'll check if this account is not null means it has some data then we'll collect the name and the email so string name equals to account dot get display name and then string email account dot get email and then we can just set this values to our text views so display name dot set text so this will be name and then display email dot set text so this will be email so we have done everything now i will just select app here and then i will click on this run button So it has been installed. So now if I click on this sign in button, it will ask me to select the email. So now I'll click on the first mail. Actually, we, uh, we should have displayed one loader there because it uh, if the internet connection is low, so it will take time. But okay, you can see it has been retrieved my name and my email so now if i click on this sign out button so it will navigate me back to the main activity so it's working fine and if i close this app let me just close this and if i click on this sign in so it will automatically detect the last email that i have entered so it will take time we could have added loader here but okay for the tutorial purpose it's okay so you can see it's working fine so that's it for this tutorial and make sure you subscribe to the channel for upcoming tutorials so thank you for watching